it says market cycle of AMC. Remember in the toughest moments, and this is across crypto, the stock market, everything, even real estate, is when it feels like everything is going to zero. The amount of short pressure manipulation only coils the springs up further. Bring the mass pain, as we all know, equals mass gain in the end. Head down, back to work, and try to buy some more. So where in this market cycle, between anger, panic, denial, this belief in depression, where do you guys think that AMC is as of right now? Comment down below. This ape said, remember, that selling and buying back kills a squeeze because it gives shorts shares that they can rehypothecate. The key is for everyone to hold no matter what until the price targets. That's what pressure shorts have to be able to take the swings AMC. I think it's pretty certain at this point that the majority of apes that got in early like myself and like many of you were still holding on to our shares and honestly not really too faced by anything at this point. If I wake up tomorrow and AMC is at $40 per share or, I wake up, or if I wake up tomorrow and AMC stock is at $1 per share, the shares in my personal portfolio are staying there. And that's what I'm personally doing. Comment down below if you have a plan with the trade from here on out. Looking at Fidelity, this is just as of one trading day where AMC is now down like crazy. AMC, one of the top most bought stocks on the day. Nearly a 4 to 1 positive ratio from buys to sells. And the fourth highest positive ratio among any stocks on this given day. And this is on a day where AMC is down substantially. So this is for retail customers, of course. They're buying the stock like crazy. Then why is AMC still dropping like it has been? Comment down below. This ape says, Adam, this ape says AA reality check. Adam Marin is no hero. Adam Marin is no villain. He's a CEO and since day one has been working to save the company he runs. He was never on our side, quote unquote. He's always been on the side of AMC. Sometimes that lines up with our interests and sometimes it doesn't. At this point, the long-term success of AMC is what we should all agree on. Now, of course, this is going to stir up a lot of different sides of controversy, and there's a lot of different good arguments on either side, I'll definitely say. But most importantly, I want to hear down below from you guys. Do you think CEO Adam Aaron is doing the best he can do? Or comment down below if you truly think he's a villain. Make sure to check out all these other videos to catch up on all the latest AMC Stock DD and information you need.